to the latest trend that's sweeping the internet, the skyrocketing prices for digital art sold as NFTs or non-fungible tokens. It's a way for individuals to buy and sell works of art that are sales for $69 million. Non-fungible tokens, commonly referred to as NFTs, are the latest vogue in the digital technology world, rocketing up to mainstream awareness in the recent past. From art and music to tacos and toilet paper, these digital assets are selling like 17th century exotic Dutch tulips, some for millions of dollars. What's your take on this digital craze? Let us know in the comment section below. That being said, today we will give detailed insights on everything you may want to know about NFTs. So sit back, relax, and enjoy a cup of coffee. In recent years, financial payments have experienced an unprecedented wave of technological innovations with the development of new electronic payment methods. NFTs have been hitting not only the blockchain headlines recently, but also sweeping across mainstream media, as some of the world's leading celebrities and brands have been accelerating this growing trend. We've seen celebrities like Ja Rule, Lindsay Lohan, Mark Cuban, Kylian Mbappe, Snoop Dogg, and brands like the NBA, Louis Vuitton, Nike, and Formula One launch their own NFTs. The list seems endless and is growing each day. So what are they? And how do they work? NFTs are cryptographic tokens that represent a unique asset on the blockchain. The main difference between NFTs and other cryptocurrencies is that they're one of a kind, unique, and aren't interchangeable. NFT assets can take the form of digital art, collectibles, a creative extension of the music, a synergy between all three, or entirely new and unexplored compositions. Creators continue to push the boundaries of creatively using NFTs, adapting them in new and innovative ways. You may be wondering who first created NFT, and we've got you covered. The history of NFTs and the man who first created one, Kevin McCoy, began on May 3, 2014. He minted his non-fungible token, Quantum, way before the crypto art market exploded. Quantum is a pixelated image of an octagon filled with denoting circles, arcs, or other shapes, which share the same center, with larger shapes surrounding smaller ones, and hypnotically pulsing in fluorescent hues. As of today, the one-of-a-kind Quantum art piece, 2014-2021, is on sale for $7 million. Say that again, $7 million. Anyone from artists to entrepreneurs, art advocates, corporations, authors, videographers, social media personalities, and even the average you and me can create an NFT. No experience necessary. As long as someone can prove they created or legally own the content, they can mint an NFT. One of the hottest NFT sectors is digital art, which hit crazy new highs as the famous 225-year-old auction house Christie's auctioned off a digital collage for nearly $70 million earlier this year. The sale immediately made the creator the third most expensive living artist in history. With Christie's previously selling some of the world's most famous paintings, it has quickly legitimized NFTs in the digital art world. It wasn't easy to authenticate and own digital art beforehand but NFTs unique and unforgeable signatures on the blockchain can even contribute to much higher valuations for these assets. The potential use cases for NFTs go far beyond digital art and are unlocking possibilities, liquidity, and value. NBA Top Shot, the basketball video collectible series, allows users to trade NBA highlights and has generated hundreds of millions in sales. NFTs also work incredibly well for licenses and intellectual property. For example, they verify university degrees, prove software licensing, and secure music copyright and ownership. NFTs can now enable music artists additional control over their work and offer the ability to track where their royalties go. It even allows fans to buy pieces of their favorite songs before artists release them and make it big, enabling their community to participate in their upside. The longevity of NFTs is still being debated, but they're still selling like hotcakes online. Many are convinced that NFTs are here to stay, and with the rise of Facebook's metaverse, now seems like a good time as any to brush up on all things digital. NFTs are a lot like cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. However, an NFT is completely unique, and it can't be exchanged like for like, which is where non-fungible starts to make sense. The file stores extra information that elevates it above pure currency and brings it into the realm of 
well, anything really. Any kind of easily reproduced digital file can be stored as an NFT to identify the original copy, like photography, art, music, video, tweets, and even memes. You can make NFTs from almost anything unique that can be stored digitally and holds value. They're like any other collector's item, like a painting or a vintage action figure. But instead of buying a physical item, you're instead paying for a file and proof that you own the original copy. The unique identity and ownership of an NFT are verifiable via the blockchain ledger. They were first launched on the Ethereum blockchain, but other blockchains including Flow and Bitcoin Cash also support them. Whether the original file is a JPEG, MP3, GIF, or anything else, the NFT that identifies its ownership can be bought and sold just like any other type of art. And, like with physical art, the price is largely set by market demand. If you wandered into a gift shop of an art gallery, you'd find a number of replicated prints of famous masterpieces. Well, there are some NFTs that act the same way. They're totally valid parts of the blockchain, but they wouldn't hold the same value as the original. Blockchain technology and NFTs afford artists and content creators a unique opportunity to monetize their wares. For example, artists no longer have to rely on galleries or auction houses to sell their art. Instead, the artist can sell it directly to the consumer as an NFT, which also lets them keep more of the profits. In addition, artists can program in royalties, so they'll receive a percentage of sales whenever their art is sold to a new owner. This is an attractive feature, as artists generally do not receive future proceeds after their art is first sold. Art isn't the only way to make money with NFTs. Brands like Charmin and Taco Bell have auctioned off themed NFT art to raise funds for charity. Charmin dubbed its offering NFTP, non-fungible toilet paper, and Taco Bell's NFT art sold out in minutes, with the highest bids coming in at 1.5 wrapped ether. What? equal to about $3,723.83. Nyan Cat, a 2011-era GIF of a cat with a Pop-Tart body sold for nearly $600,000 in February, and NBA Top Shot generated more than $500 million in sales in late March. A single LeBron James highlight NFT fetched more than $200,000. Even celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Lindsay Lohan are jumping on the NFT bandwagon releasing unique memories, artwork, and moments as securitized NFTs. NFTs are an evolution over the relatively simple concept of cryptocurrencies. Modern finance systems consist of sophisticated trading and loan systems for different asset types, ranging from real estate to lending contracts to artwork. By enabling digital representation of physical assets, NFTs are a step forward in the reinvention of the infrastructure. To be sure, the idea of digital representation of physical assets is not novel, nor is the use of unique identification. However, when these concepts are combined with the benefits of a tamper-resistant blockchain of smart contracts, then they become a potent force for change. Perhaps the most obvious benefit of NFTs is market efficiency. The conversion of a physical asset into a digital one streamlines processes and removes intermediaries. NFTs representing digital or physical artwork on a blockchain removes the need for agents and allows artists to connect directly with their audience. They can also improve business processes. For example, an NFT for a wine bottle will make it easier for different actors in a supply chain to interact with it and help it track its provenance, production, and sale through the entire process. Consulting firm Ernst & Young has already developed such a solution for one of its clients. NFTs are also excellent for identity management. Consider the case of physical passports that need to be produced at every entry and exit point. By converting individual passports into NFTs, each with its own unique identifying characteristics, it's possible to streamline the entry and exit processes for jurisdictions. Expanding this use case, NFTs can be used for identity management within the digital realm as well. NFTs can also democratize investing by fractionalizing physical assets like real estate. It's much easier to divide a digital real estate asset among multiple owners than a physical one. That tokenization ethic need not be constrained to real estate. It can be extended to other assets, such as artwork. Thus, a painting need not always have a single owner. Its digital equivalent can have multiple owners, each responsible for a fraction of the painting. Such arrangements could increase its worth and revenues. Since an NFT can only have one owner at any one time, when you buy an NFT, 
you purchase the exclusive ownership of a particular digital asset. However, this doesn't mean that you own the exclusive rights to who gets to look at or share that particular artwork. The more you try to wrap your head around this weird and magical world of non-fungible tokens, the more you may ask yourself why anyone would buy an NFT. Well, there are a few reasons why those with spare cash are choosing to invest. But before revealing those reasons, be sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet done so. Also, give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. Let's continue. So what are some of the reasons why one would choose to invest in NFTs? First is scarcity. There's nothing like a perceived sense of rarity to increase interest in a particular item. As NFTs can only have one owner, they create this sense of scarcity by the bucket load. This encourages potential buyers to fixate on a particular piece and worry that someone else may become the exclusive owner of an NFT that they want. Think of it like when you find a pair of sneakers you want to buy, and the site tells you that there's only one pair left. If you're like most of us, this increases your sense of scarcity and encourages you to commit to making the purchase, even if it doesn't make financial sense for you. Secondly is collectability. Like swapping baseball cards on the playground, NFTs are essentially trading cards for the super rich. While there's no inherent value in these cards other than what the market ascribes to them, their fluctuating worth makes their collectability and trading potential like a high-risk gambling game. As a result, it's easy to compare the NFT and the art market. However, unlike the art market, NFTs give artists more autonomy as they no longer have to rely on galleries or auction houses to sell their work. By cutting out the middleman, artists can sell their artwork directly to buyers and keep more of the profits by doing so, as we've earlier mentioned. So is it worth investing in NFTs? For those who would love to know, well, appealing to the risk-taker investor, NFTs offer a unique high-stakes opportunity to make some huge profits. But be warned, this only happens rarely, though not as flashy and without the same cultural cachet. If you're looking for a more reliable way to invest your money, consider investing in an index fund rather than a Pop-Tart cat gif. However, if you want to take your chances and enter the world of non-fungible tokens, you'll first have to open a digital wallet. This is where you'll store your cryptocurrencies and your NFTs. You'll then need to look for NFTs on the likes of OpenSea.io or Rarible. Find one you like, then buy the right cryptocurrency for that particular NFT, then make your purchase. Then it's a waiting game, as the value of your NFT is dependent upon how much someone else is willing to pay for it. You and your Pop-Tart cat are at the mercy of the market. There's a lot of money being made in the NFT market, but you'll have heard that there's also great controversy, not least due to the impact on climate. The creation of blockchain assets, NFTs included, uses a horrendous amount of computing power, and so a huge amount of energy. Some are worried about the very real impact the craze could have on the environment. Whether or not NFTs are here to stay, for the moment they're making some people money and they're creating new possibilities for digital art. We would, however, advise caution and careful consideration on which platforms to use. That's all on our video about NFTs and all you need to know about them. If you found the video helpful, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more of our amazing content. Please give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. We value your feedback. Feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comments section below.